Hey, it's not day, and we're here with the final part of Castlevania Chronicles. As you may notice, I picked up right where I saved the last time. And I'm going to be fighting Dracula. First form, easy as usual. Second form, I can't do it with one hit point. I actually went back to make sure I could do Dracula with one hit point. To be really cool for the internet, I can't do a second form with no hit point. Um, this is a safety save in case I fuck up royally. Basically, all you gotta do is wait for the coat to open up. As soon as he does that, you're free to jump. If you jump beforehand, he will just fire the air, the fireballs in the air. And if you're curious, this is his only move. This is all he will do the entire entire first form. Basically, all you do is jump and wait at the same time. Or not jump. That was horrible. Uh, it shouldn't have a direct effect on the final fight. I got 12 hearts, so I sh should be fucked. Oh man, this is actually going really bad. Probably because I'm talking. But you know, that's part of the fun. If you notice, he just threw some more, like two more fireballs, but they're actually in between the, previ the previous three, so there's actually no more. It's not any more fatal than the previous attack was. I, I, I don't really know why. You know, I always found, I always found the, the uh, parallel three fireballs way more dangerous. And there he goes his head. That just exploded. But of course, you know... You know, he can't stay dead, no. Uh oh. Can you jump? Nope, you're gonna throw fire at me. Oh, uh, crap. This is no good. Fuck! Um. Oh, shit, I'm out of lives, too. Let's try this again. Hey, if I fuck up too many times, I'll just. I'll cut out the first part, having to fight the first part over again, and then, uh. to show my failure at the second part. Fuck! I'm getting too ahead of myself. Probably because I'm talking. Probably because I'm talking. Really, you need just about the right distance where your jump will land. Well, well not really, you don't even know. He doesn't need to be close enough to whip him. But not too close, so you'll get hit with the fireballs as soon as he throws them. Theoretically, you could probably use the cross for this, but... Holy water is way more useful in the second form. That was close. Simon's gonna have his boots melted to his feet. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. One more hit, and... Fuck! Uh, let's see where he's gonna spawn. I wanna be on the left side of him. I think. Nope, I'm on the wrong side. If I duck here. Holy shit. As usual. And he goes into this form now. Which should really just be done by. Fucking fuck. Fuck. Okay, hold on one moment here, folks. Okay, we're back in Dracula's Dead now. I made a save state, I'll make another one. And now if I can't beat him this time, then I'm just gonna... Duck right here. Shit. Come on. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, so into his next form. I don't think I have enough holy water to really do it. Come on. Ah, oh, you. What? What? 
I killed him with a headbutt! Yeah! Actually, I think he fell in that holy water. He died with him collision to me, and I beat him with one hit point. Oh, that feels good. And now his castle's melting. Yeah, last time I saw walls melt, uh, I'm pretty sure you were in violation of some sort of building code. The whole place looks like a violation of some sort of building code. Oh yeah, this is the crumply CG. Or the CG of the crumpling. Either way you want to take it. Unfortunately, you don't get to see the awesome, uh, Metroid-esque escaping from the exploding building. But personally, I think it would be kind of cool because you saw it just bolting out of there. But then again, this model would probably look like shit. But a new day has dawned on the eternal night! Welcome to the world of tomorrow! Sorry for talking over this cutscene, I'm a douche. Mm hmm hmm. That was it for the game. Now we get to watch the credits. Ooh -hoo. If you're curious, the pictures in the background are actually taken from original mode. Though these credits don't appear in original mode. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? No, yeah, this is Castlevania Chronicles. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna watch the credits. I don't really care for credit roll music. Hmm. Huh. Damn, Frankie. Well, maybe it's not from the classic version. Maybe it's not from range. Maybe it is from a range. I guess it is, because I see his long, flowing hair. Chin Chan! Special thanks. Chris Slade at PSM. Before PSM sold out. It was actually a good magazine, believe it or not. Believe it or not. Believe it. Or not. That was released in 2001? Hmm, I wonder where I was. I was playing a PS2. Well, yeah, that's it for Castlevania Chronicles. At least the arrange mode. And here it's saving your data. Yes, I'd like to save my data. Because then you want to unlock time attack and ranking. But you know, that's not much to make you want to play it again unless you really like Castlevania. Or if you, uh. want to go back. Not watch that crappy CG. You can always play. Go to options! And, uh. A range mode. You can change your amount of lives, change to the time limit, make the game harder. Special options also. Uh, illustration gallery. Oh, neat! It's got sympathy of the night pictures. Well, we're gonna look at Richter, and I'm gonna say goodbye. This has been Castlevania Chronicles, and thanks for watching. I might put up a video of, of the original mode, or just a demo of the original mode. But, until whatever I put up next, see you around.